a day of remembrance, not only here in Brockport, but across our country and in fact across the world. Each and every one of us remembers where we were at those precise moments. 8.46 a.m., 9.03, when both towers were hit, the Pentagon, and let's not forget the folks in rural Pennsylvania, but this is a time to embrace, and embrace one another, embrace the values of this country, and embrace the love of fellow human beings. I was on the rooftop uh, tennis courts just watching um, this blazing inferno um, in the first building. 17 minutes or so in between strikes, but um, it, it felt like a long time. Um, and then all of a sudden, everything changed. Uh, you could see the second plane approach the building and <clears throat> fly right through um, the second tower. Uh, absolute disbelief um, uh, and in absolute fear, because at the time we didn't know there was going to be another strike. Um, or all the missing posters and flyers that came up on the subway, on the walls, on the lampposts, any way you could find empty space, there was a missing person's uh, flyer or poster. I remember that every time I would read one of those um, posters, I would say a silent prayer for uh, the missing person, and the anger I felt at those people who have done this to us. Enormous sadness. The people, the innocent people, who have lost their lives. And uh, I don't think I slept for like two or three days. I remember thinking it was a nightmare. And I was just going to wake up at some point, and uh, none of this would have happened. I was in fourth grade, uh, uh, elementary school. So. Uh, I remember uh, going to class and whatnot. Um, the teachers left the room, so uh, um, we didn't. My mom told me like what kind of what happened, but I was still confused. Um, my dad actually took off the next day to uh, go to Ground Zero. I think and clean up. my dad was a big inspiration um, when I was a kid. That meant a lot when he took off. So um, I think I just wanted to help.